Boom. Boom. Scare. Boom. Boom. Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. So we just finished showing all of the breeders that are gonna be breeding this season. You guys have been great watching all these videos, leaving those amazing comments. And I'm just so happy to be here on a Sunday afternoon. And you know what, we're hungry. This is gonna be another feeding video. And we're not talking about McDonald's or shrimp scampi or spaghetti and meatballs. You don't wanna eat that, right? Nah. We're talking about some amazing, delicious rodents. Nice mice, they're warming up inside right now. So let's go inside and start this feeding video. Now we're here with Chaos first. He's gonna be the first one eating today. Check out how beautiful this guy is. Boom. Oh, don't fall now. So something about these carpet pythons, they like to grab the food. It's almost like they snatch it out of the sky. And I think in the wild, they like to eat a lot of birds. So they grab it and constrict it. This guy would be hanging from a tree right now. So this little pipe we have here kind of mimics a canopy he would be hanging out in, just grabbing that prey. And now he's squeezing it to death. Even though it's already dead, he doesn't know that. He's just making sure it's dead. Now, he don't like to be watched while he's eating, so we're gonna let him relax, and uh, we'll feed the next snake. Boom! So help me name this guy. Throw some names in the comments. Give me a nice intense name because he's been getting really intense colors with age. Really, really looking forward to see what he looks like in about a year. Oh. So this guy is het for hypermill. Hypermill, if you don't know, is almost a pure black snake. Some of them have some patterning on them. And it's amazing to think a snake that's pink, an albino pink snake with yellow, beautiful bands could produce a snake that looks nothing like it. But uh, I also have a female that I'm gonna be feeding next. And uh, they're hopefully going to be producing a mixed clutch of hyper mills, albinos. It's going to be crazy. Boom. So now I'm gonna take this girl right out from the bin. Hopefully she doesn't attack me. We're gonna put her right here like that. And I'm gonna feed her from up here. Whoa! Scared. 
scared me there, girl. So she gave me a little heart jump, but that's okay. We're gonna put her back in, let her digest that beautiful, beautiful mouse. Whoa! Scared me there, girl. So take a look at this female buckskin ochre tea, formerly known as Miss Elizabeth, now named Hazelnut, changed her name. I think it's much more fitting. She has that hazelnut complexion and she comes from South Mountain Reptiles, only the finest lineage. So I can't wait to pair her in the future and uh, the future looks really bright for this girl. Oh! So this girl I picked up from Lee Abbott comes from the finest of the finest bloodline. She might be one of my best. Only time will tell and the camera doesn't really show her true colors. All right, so I'm gonna go in the other room and get Kane. I'm gonna see if he'll eat out of my hands. I never tried this with him before, so I'll be right back. So I'm here with Kane right now. I got the mouse. Got it. So this is Kane's first time eating out of my hands. Again, this is not something that I would normally do. I'm just doing it for the video. As long as I put him back in his enclosure before he swallows this mouse, he'll be fine. You don't wanna handle these guys once they fully swallow the mouse, otherwise they can regurgitate. All right, so I'm gonna put Kane back in his enclosure before he finishes this mouse and uh, I'll be right back. <laughs> so let's take a look now at Kane and Pumpkin's babies, the two boys. This is Ric Flair, the male I decided to keep for myself. Just couldn't resist it, I had to hold back one. And now we're gonna show the next. This male will be available. Just holding on to them for a little bit longer. I wanna see how their colors develop and compare them. Just beautiful babies though. So now let's talk about the Miami corn snake. This is a Miami tessera named Nevada. She comes from Carol Huddleston at Low Belly Reptiles. I feel Carol has some of the nicest Miami corn snakes around and she specializes in them. That's why I went to her. I'm really happy with the way this girl's color is developing. Look at that nice maroon color. Now I got a 2021 male that we just named Vegas thanks to the comments. So we got Vegas in Nevada. He's still about a year and a half to two before we could breed him with this girl but when we do. I'm telling you, there's going to be some magic made.
All right, guys, I got an amazing dinner waiting for me now, so I'm gonna go head out. I'm glad you guys hung out with me to feed the snakes, and I'll catch you in the next one.